uh, your phone comes equipped with a few very basic apps. You can get more apps from the Google Play Store, which you can find through searching through your app menu. So we'll go to the app menu again. Uh, it usually shows up on the second screen. So you just click until you get to the Play Store. Uh, it's this little shopping bag looking thing right here. So we'll click on that. And now you've, it wants to know if you would like to add an existing account or create a new one. So if you have an existing Google Play account from a previous uh, Android device or a Gmail account, and you can usually connect that into and turn that into a Google account, you can use existing or you can create new. If you create new, you just create, uh, follow the prompts. It'll prompt you to do your first name, last name, email, some basic information. Once you do that, it'll be set up. It'll automatically connect to Play Store anytime that you go to make any app purchases. And in that case, you will be ready to add apps to your phone. Now you'll want to be selective with your apps at first because this is a small phone and the built-in memory is somewhat limited. And that's never been a problem for me since I tend to use this phone only for the basics anyway. However, if you do want to expand your mini phone app capacity, our experts here at 3 to 3 have created a helpful guide for patching the phone's internal memory into an SD card. And you can read all about how to do that by clicking on the link we've included in the information section of this video. So you can check that out after the video. So just a couple of other things about your phone's features I'd like to show you. Uh, your camera can be accessed from the home screen, the app menu, or simply by sliding the padlock to the camera when the lock, like, lock screen is displayed. So we'll show you those. Uh, here's your, your lock screen. You can click on the lock, slide it over to the camera icon, which is to the left, and you have camera access. Perfect. Uh, click the home button. You can also access it right here on the home screen. You have your camera app menu right there. Or if you happen to be in the apps menu anyway, Camera is also available here as well. Uh, so your phone also comes with an FM radio app, which can be very nice, especially if you're out in the woods. Uh, to use it, you just select the app, which is this one right here. And the first screen you see is a prompt where it tells you if you need earphones as an antenna, so please plug in your earphones. So again, we'll just go to the bottom slot. Pop open our little rubber strip here. Take some headphones, insert the headphones into the headphone jack, and now you can see the screen is still here, and now you're going to hit yes. When you do that, your radio is activated. And uh, you can scroll, you can do seek with the uh, for different stations with the far arrows on the far sides of the screen. You can click one uh, frequency sta uh, notch at a time with the middle uh, arrows. You can record audio with the record button up here. Uh, if you like a station and you want, would like to save it for later, you just hit the star button over here and it favorites it. And uh, then it is instantly added to your list so that uh, when you uh, go to your list of favorites up here in the future, there you go, there's your stations. And now when you are ready to be, uh, when you're finished with the radio and you don't want it to be operational anymore, you just unplug your headphones and that turns off the radio. Perfect. All right. So finally, you can associate an email account with your phone by selecting the email icon and following the setup labels. Uh, you can also use manual setup if you have some special settings you'd like to activate, but generally the basic guided setup is all you need. So you would click your email icon right here, and then it'll just ask you for a few steps for setting up your account. Uh, and most uh, j just basically a name to associate with it, uh, your email and your password. So you'll go through that process and it should connect to your email easily. So we'll go home. All right, that's all for now. Uh, for a guide to SIM card installation, check out our next video, the mini phone SIM card installation guide. And if there's another product topic you'd like us to cover, please don't hesitate to contact us through our website, cedartreetechnologies.com or through Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching, and remember, good things come in tough packages.